Hey guys, we're back in the garage working on the F100 project. Today we're going to be tackling some of the issues with trying to use the stock air conditioning heater unit from the Grand Marquis. Um, we could go with a vintage air that would be a lot easier, but that costs money and that's kind of defeating the purpose of what this project's all about. Uh, there'll be a lot of things coming up with this, I'm sure, down the road, but we're going to see if we can't at least get it mounted and the basic ducting started here today. If you like what you see today, please like the video. You can follow me on Twitter at Idle Garage or on Facebook at Idle Garage also. Let's get started. When I've tried to go and fit the whole heater box assembly in underneath the hood, it was too large because it would hit into the engine block over on this side and then would stick past here. Because on the Grand Marquis, the firewall was flat all the way out almost to the fender outside itself. Where on this truck, it's got a big offset here on it. What I've decided to do to remedy that situation is to just cut off the end of this box. This was on right here, and I've went ahead and cut that off. We're going to move this whole blower motor to right inside the corner here. Um, and have it suck through the vents that's already here, and that'll get the outside air coming in. So this here will fit up to there, something like this now. And then that gives us plenty of room here on the edge to be away from the fender. Here's a little bit better look of just how this is going to work. The air will come in through here and go right through there. It's going to be a little bit restricted from what it was, but considering we're cutting the interior size in half, I don't think it'll be an issue. So, plan is now is to close this in. We'll probably plastic weld some things closed there and make that so that just mounts up right to that. On the inside, right in here is where I'm going to put the blower motor. This plate right here is just goes straight to the vent that's already in the cowl right there. So, we can pull fresh air from the outside by cutting a hole in this plate. We're going to pull the air in and then we're going to blow it through this hole right here and that'll get it to come and circulate through the system there for us. I tried to just cut off the housing from the blower motor, but it doesn't want to fit in there. So we're going to have to make our own for that, something that fits a little bit slimmer, but the blower motor will ultimately sit right there. We're going to have a dash extension um, down the road that'll cover over the motor end itself so you won't actually see that in the kick panel but I think that that's going to be our best place here for it. Okay here's my game plan on what I'm going to do here with making that box. On this quarter panel right here I've got a little bit of rust right there which I've got a patch panel that I'm going to go and patch that bottom out but since it's not really rusted anywhere except just this little bit right here I don't need the whole panel so I'm just going to get the piece I need that's going to be right here and then that'll leave me this whole top half which is the exact shape of the box that I'm going to end up trying to make to hold that blower motor so I'm just going to cut this off and then I've got a good back piece to start with on making that housing. Right here is the vent that I was talking about that the blower motor will actually pull fresh air from the outside through. Right now this doesn't do anything because the model truck that I had, that was just so if you shut the door and everything it would, you know, allow air in and out. Cut out and I was only able to use just a little bit of it, but it did still help. So I got a start of a box here that this motor will eventually sit in there. I know it's a little tight there, but I, I think it'll be all right there. Now I've got to kind of make a duct that goes off this side of the box. To match up to that hole in the firewall. As you can see the basic box fits pretty well in that opening there. Now we just need to get a piece from here up to there and then kind of shoot that over and around there. Now I've already test fit the actual air box in here and it comes over but it leaves just that little bit of an opening so should be all right on clearance. And there's a look at how it'll be sitting with the blower motor in there with the heater box. And like I said, there's room to get through just shooting right through there. So 
That's about the only way I see to get it through there. Got a good bit of the box done. This is what fits back in that recess there. And there's the bottom and there's that. The next thing I need to do is get the plate made for this. Probably gonna have to trim this back so that this can shoot out there and really get that air flowing through there. So I think that's gonna work all right. the housing mocked up here everything's all tacked together got the blower motor put in there just want to test it out to see how it does blow here it's not the smoothest but I think it'll work I still got to tack everything up and finish welding it and eventually I'll cover it all in sound deadening to help it cut back on some of the noise that's going to definitely be made from that. So This is where it'll be in its final spot. Still have some trimming to do here on some of this excess. Um, clean up some of this right here. But that's pretty much what it's going to look like. That meets up there good to the hole. We'll put a little bit of a uh, like a foam pad or something there so that that seals tight like I said still got to clean up everything on the box itself but that's the basic shape of what we're going for eventually there'll be a kick panel that'll cover this and the dash is going to have the extension on there which will come down and kind of help hide all this here so all this will be hidden but that's how we're going to solve the problem of getting the blower motor to push the air back into the existing box on the other side of the firewall and once the heater box is back in, it hides most of what we've done anyway. That's going to do it for today. I just wanted to get that basic box fabricated so that I know that I have the room for that so that I can proceed with other parts of the build. Like I said, we're going to pick back up with the heater box in future builds here for it, but just wanted to get that out of the way so that I can kind of get some wires run, the dash put together, the front end a little bit assembled. So stop back in for future builds. Please like and share the video and we'll see you next time.